Hi, it's Carolyn here from Mommy Ramblings. And first of all, if you're scared of dolls, you'll probably want to turn this right off now. Um, I don't think there's anything to be scared of. Some people, I don't know, I have a coworker that tells me she's weirded out by the how they look so real. So, I mean, if you have issues with that, it's a disclaimer that I'm going to that I have a doll modeling what I want to show you, which is a pillowcase dress that I sewed. Now, if you would understand that the sewing machine and I have had a long time um, history of, you know, me only making an owl pillow in sixth grade home ec class and never really attempting, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I've attempted things and you know, I did a tote bag that just didn't turn out right, and then was very scared for that from that for about two years. But I went and started some applique shirts this fall, which turned out okay. And I'm making my kids' birthday shirts now, so that was good. And then I said, you know, I was ready to move on to other things. So I thought a pillowcase dress would be an easy way to start. And I'm really proud that. <laughs> I finished it and it's, you know, looks good. I mean, I used a ribbon for the tie. I, I planned on using a contrasting fabric that I have for this, but it, the casing just didn't seem wide enough. So I just, I used a ribbon and I'll tell you, this was very, very simple. The only thing that gave me any trouble and it's only because I have never used it before was bias tape. Okay, I almost gave up and then I bought the wrong kind of bias tape when I first bought it. So then that really gave me a problem. But once, you know, I did it now, I didn't do a step-by-step -step tutorial with this one, but I'm feeling better about it and I have other fabric. So I'm going to make um, at least another one so that I can do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you. But believe me, if I can do this, um, anyone can. And I'll just show you that this is, um, Ava is 32 inches long, so she's a 24 months 2T. That's what this dress is size, 2T. Let me see if I can, let's see. You'll see this is where the bias tape gave me some issues, but it, it didn't come out all that bad. And, um, okay. And the back you see is where it has the seam. And that came out nice. And then a little hem on the bottom. And you can add, you know, trim and stuff to the bottom if you want. She's she's a sitting doll, so she's not going to stand straight for me. I could put it on one of a standing doll that's that size so you could see it fully. But what I also want to do, let me move her back, is um, I'm thinking of making one of these and trying to make it into a romper, which is just putting some elastic closing off about, I think it's like four inches in the middle, and then you put elastic around each leg hole. And that's a really simple way to make a fun pillowcase romper. There's not even a pattern for this, okay? I did this by going to the Hobby Lobby website and following their tutorial. Okay, and there's not even a pattern for it. It couldn't be simpler, really. So, um, again, you know, I, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step for you on this. But, you know, it's... <laughs> I can't get her. Just, she's a sitting doll, so she's not going to stand for us. She's not going to stand. Um... But yeah, it's a very, very cute little dress, and I think it makes a really equally cute romper. Now, with the romper, you know, for a baby and stuff, toddler to go to the bathroom, especially potty training, you can put snaps on the, the inner seam that you have between the two legs. But if you are, you know, strictly making something that you don't care about doing that or you don't have snaps around you could sew it they would have to undo the top to take it down to go to the bathroom or diaper changes whichever um, depending on 
where your child, grandchild, whoever is. But again, really proud of myself on this. <laughs> I know some of you experience so much like, really? But um, yeah, I am because it's like <laughs> every small little victory with the sewing machine makes me really happy. So again, I, I will be doing a tutorial on this where you can see better and I apologize because it's hard to see the dress up close. I will try to see, I, I do have a standing doll that could um, model this, you know, so you could see the length, but I think you guys know what a pillowcase dress looks like. And um, I'll see if I can add that later. Thanks for watching. Please follow us at Mommy Ramblings. Um, Dot org and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said, we're going to have a tutorial on this so you can follow along if you're looking to learn something new for your sewing machine if you're <laughs> challenged like, like I was. All right, take care.